Welcome back guys, this is Srikanth. Today we are going to talk about replay data set issue. Um, few of my friends, few of my subscribers requested me to create video on this. That's why I am creating video on this. Basically issue is related with the refreshing part. They, according to them, they created a data set and they added some data into that data set. And they were seeing there were a few records, let's say two records. And after some time they added a uh, few more records, let's say two, three records. Uh, so the number of record became equal to 3 plus 2 that's 5 and when they are executing the query refreshing the query and going to uh, see that data into their respective data set the new basically if it is shared if it, they are going to the new report they are seeing the old data itself and they try different way they try refreshing part and all those things and uh, still they were not able to see that and they asked me to create video on this so the thing is you know what happened whenever we create RDL and we go to the preview section so at the time we go to the preview it uh, it calls the core and it create the data basically and that data get binded to one file if you see the uh, SSRS uh, file structure you will see two different kind of file one is with the RDL and another will with be RDL dot data so let me go and let me show you the demo for example let's say this is the data say it and uh, um, I added two rows here right and I'm clicking on ok ok then fine I'm going to the second this is my RDL and I uh, binded the table to this and going to the preview I'm able to see two record here that's fine let's see so there are two record perfectly fine now if I go to the tab and uh, do a right click here and and um, I, if I go to the file structure, I will see the second.rdl file is there, but along with the second.rdl, I am seeing one more file that's the second.rdl.data. So, along with the RDL file, data file would get created and it's a data file. So, what happened, you know, if you are calling the same code again and again, it won't create a new uh, data set, it will simply it will simply take the data from that data file. Okay, so we have this idea. Now, what are we going to do to uh, understand or to demonstrate the issue? I'm going to add one record here. Let's say this union, or just go to the query designer. Just copy the second line. This is something like if you found this issue, how to fix it? Then click on OK. Now there are three records. Now I'm going on, going and clicking on OK. So my expectation is when I go to the second and if I'm going to the preview, I would see how many rows. I would see three rows. Let's see. But I'm not able to see those three rows. Actually, I'm able to see only two. Okay. Let me go to my first RDL. Uh, there I'm going to the preview and let's see. Do I see there are three rows or not? Here I am seeing only one. Oh, lot of problem, right? The data set should show me three rows, but some somewhere it's showing me one row, somewhere it's showing me two rows. That's the problem. So to fix such problem, so what you guys need to do? You need to go to your respective RDL, you need to right click over there, you need to go to the open containing folder, and in the open containing folder, and in open containing folder, you will find in open containing folder you will find two files this is dot rdl file and dot data file here what you need to do here you need to select the dot rdl dot data file you need to delete that one okay now let's go back to uh, business tool and now let's do go back to the design and again click on a preview the moment you click on a preview you will see all the record all the latest one because it executes the query one second and it pulls the data one second so three rows okay perfectly fine now i am going back to the data set or uh, the rdl one right i am clicking on a preview here and here i am seeing again the one row uh, okay so what i need to do i need to do follow the same stay steps uh, then go need to go to the open containing folders this is just 
for understanding just delete the dot data frame now go back and just go to the design and preview you can click on view report also and now you'll see the free record so right so now the both the rdl got uh, fresh and if i'll again do a right click here and if you'll go back and you'll see that dot rdl dot data file again created automatically so there is no problem that deleting this file right hope you guys understood how to fix the problem if we are seeing the issue related with the refresh data set issue because this such issue we'll see uh, when we do testing or when we do development and this is quite helpful and thanks for watching this video